Well, we're live. I think we're live. We're live. Man, technical city tonight. Black Knight and uh, it's uh it's sorry crazy. Black, I don't yeah, need don't know. you don't need to tell just, everybody what's just going on. Oh, are we live? We are live. We are live now. Hey, wait, what's that signal that was up there? Was that the virus signal? <laughs> that was the bat that signal. Was, uh, the bat signal was saying, uh, right now? Save us, oh. Monty. Save
Oh, man, my ears are ringing, man. That hurt. I don't know what's going on with that. That, like, face shifted about oh, 10 different times. Oh, my gosh, that hurts. My ears were ringing when I got here tonight, so. Well, as Sean McConnell said, I hope you guys are six feet apart. Yeah, we are <laughs> social distancing. Yep, yep. A little uh, blacker. Oh. Isn't that a little fast? See, he's the one that starts it. You always get mad at me. You guys are the one that starts the stuff, man. I'll just play slow. Are you going to noodle? Okay. I like when you noodle. Why do they call it noodle? Don't get me started.
System. Oh my! Is it coming through your earphones? Too? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why oh, it's dude, going. Yeah, the cans. It's like. Oh. I don't know what's happening. Dougie likes him some noise. Dougie, you like noise. Certain does. Key. Yeah. Well, well, there you go. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why it's so loud all of a sudden. Well, we're having sound problems, so if you guys understand, you'll understand. You'll get it. So what's happening, my Vibers free friends? That's right, man. <laughs> You're at least eight feet away. I'm at least yes. six and a half feet away from you. <laughs> COVID. Yeah. So what's going on with that, man? What the whole town is shut down. We're the only live band around, I think. Well, don't let that get out. Yeah. We're, we're actually. <laughs> don't worry. It won't get out. <laughs> looking at the screen, we're actually in different rooms. There's, <laughs> we're in a vacuum sealed room. <laughs> climate controlled. Climate controlled. There's dudes in with fact, white suits and masks. In fact, outside. Me that water. I believe the temperature is up to 140 in here so that it'll kill anything, even us. Oh, no. Now I'm going to have to wash my hands after that. No, we, we, when we believe, we get scrubbed and probed before <laughs> we get out of here. <laughs> well, there's, let's just say there's a process. They want to make sure you, we're not stealing You anything. have your process. I'll have my process. Oh, my God. How many people are out of work? Everybody's out of work. Man. Well, I hope they're all watching us. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> it's free. You know, it's so funny. The last week or so, all these bands are going, well, we're going to do a live broadcast. Well, we've been doing it like 44 times. We still can't get anybody in here. 44. Yep. Number 44. Yeah. It's number 44. John Riggins. Yeah, so what what are you guys doing to, to uh, protect Reggie. yourselves? Are you guys staying in? Monty, you still working? Doing the we're school? St yeah, we're still live, man. We're still working. We he's, gotta... he's got a seven-foot baton he carries with him now just to keep people what, away. What school do you work at, I guess? This Cal Baptist University. Yeah, he's uh, security, right? Yeah, we're safety services, and we just got to gotta baby t babysit the campus. Do you have basically. to wear a mask and all that stuff? No, or no, we're not good? doing that. Just... Just uh, staying away from folks. Gloves. We yeah. Gloves. Well, I think there's, so far, there's only, there's a case in Eastvale, which is off the 15, kind of Loma Linda. Oh, really? Or, I mean, not, I mean, um, Mira Loma. And then in Corona, we've heard of two cases. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they got them isolated. And I picked so. up a nurse from uh, Chalk the other night, and she was telling me that uh, there's only one case in L.A. of a child that they know of, but it's not confirmed. Yeah. Uh, other than that, not too many children have a Chalk. There's been no symptoms whatsoever, which is good. That's that's great. Yeah, it's wow. just picking on people that uh, are infirmed. Is that you? I, you know, I'm on, I'm on the list. Are you on the list? Yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing? Those high yourself? risk. I'm I'm staying away really from stuff. Yeah. Do you uh, when you go to the store? Do you do you gown up? I haven't been to the store recently. <laughs> um, yeah, it's amazing. I went about a week ago, but that's that was about it. Right. I'm not 100 percent sure why everybody's buying toilet paper. Maybe you can fill me in on that. Does this thing make you have, uh, you know, <laughs> no. bowel movements or what? No. Well, somebody, sorry, I, I didn't say that nicely. I didn't somebody say was, uh, I think Heather Froglier uh, put on her Facebook page something about single ply. Are you kidding me? You know, and I said, well, if you fold it twice, you've got four ply. <laughs> so it just depends. It just depends. All right. I just thought maybe just wearing diapers. Good idea. It depends. depends. I'm going for, yeah, yeah, astronaut diapers. I'm going astronaut for Astronaut diapers are good. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's strange. Uh, you go to the store, and here's the funny thing about the store is that all the meat products will be gone, right? But the fruit is is no one's taking and People the fruit. don't. They don't the want stuff healthy, you need. They don't the want healthy food. The stuff you food. need. Well, yeah. No healthy food. I was going for bananas one night. They were out. But then the next day or a couple of days later, 
they were full up of bananas. So right. It was over abundance. Hit or miss, yeah. Yeah, well, a little tip, if you guys want to go shopping late at night like I do, it's like 2 in the morning. There's a food for less open till 2 in the morning in Anaheim, right outside of Disneyland. Um, that place is empty at about 1.30. You can go in there, and they're restocking everything. So well, they're stocking about one thirty. Yeah, one thirty. They're stocking. So, so you get, did you there. get toilet paper? Oh yeah, everything's there. You just no one's in the place. You know. Well, you, they will be now. Can I you, know. Can you get some for me? I'll pay you back. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Slightly used. <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's quite all right. As I long as you dry it out. I actually <laughs> took a picture earlier. My mom's inquirer came in the mail today, and I thought, well, there's about fourteen sheets of paper. <laughs> That's fourteen trips right there. Dude. Yeah, yeah, you get a picture of Elvis on your backside. Well, That's you, you got to you got to right. move quick when that's swiping across <laughs> there. You're gonna get a tattoo of Elvis. Yeah, you move quick, or the <laughs> ink the ink, ink comes on the out. backside. Yeah. What's the folks you know, saying? Folks are saying. Let's see. We have uh, Aaron Gray, a friend of ours. Uh, Miss Laura Watson, I haven't seen her. How's your how's your kid doing? Are they still playing baseball? Let me know. Uh, Richard Manning, hey, I'm Richard. at home, of course, he says. Right R- on. R- Mr. Ryan Krisky, he's a great little guitar player. He plays drums and bass and the whole shot. He's in about 50 bands, too, like Manning. Multi-tone. These two guys are should get together because they could start about 50 bands, <laughs> have them going. Offshoots. Uh, Sean McConnell, can you play the soundtrack from the movie Outbreak? Question mark. Doug. Yes, no. Say that again. <laughs> uh, can, can you play the soundtrack from Movie Outbreak? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got that. Yeah, yeah. You want it right now? Yeah, yeah. Kerry Colomi, how you doing, buddy? Colomi, Mike DePepe, how you doing, buddy? Haven't heard from you in a while. Ruben Gonzalez, Stephen Shears, uh, how are your kids doing? He's got a, his two kids are in a band called The Garden, which right are a pretty, pretty large band in the area. Uh, Laura Beckman. Laura Beckman. Bartell. Uh, Paula Braun. Richard Manning again, uh, Lisa Thornton, old friend, um, and uh, let's. Do you guys want to check on our buddy? Uh, um, Matt's playing on a rooftop in. Uh, where's he playing? He's done that before. Been on a rooftop playing. Where's he's it in at? Nashville. Oh, Nashville. Let's check it out. I'm sorry, Nashville. Oh, there he is. He's still jamming away. Yeah. Kerner, Matt Kerner. The only thing is, I we can't get the sound on here. I tried to get. That's a live broadcast. If you guys want to go to Matt's, uh, is it on his website on his Facebook? No, but it's it's got a, a reference to it, and it's the 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 name of the uh, bar that he's at. Yeah, so go support tin, is Matt. Is it Tin Roof something? Tin Roof. Uh, tin Roof something. Yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Tin Sunday. So go uh, no. go give him some dough. He's looking for a couple change. He's going to help out some people there in, in the in the immediate area for uh, their disaster that they have. So lots of problems right now for sure. A little financial right on. For folks. Yeah. Um, cool. So I mean. It's an amazing thing to watch this uh, this thing unfold. You know, uh, I was kind of just sad. I don't want to get too political on it, but I was sad that uh, that so many people in the service industry have been put out of work. You know, bartenders, yeah. waitresses. If yeah. you go down uh, to Disneyland, I mean, my business driving for Lyft. Uh, you know, I've been doing it for a few years now. And uh, it's it's so bad. I can't even tell you it's so bad because uh, nobody has money now to pay pretty, for the, for thin, the rides. Huh? Re- really thin and no one's going out. So that's uh, one of the main things. Would you say the majority of your business when it's busy is from clubs and bars? and? Yeah. Yeah. Or people going out to dinner um, is the main thing. Uh, right now, I'm just picking up folks that are just going shopping and, and doing that thing. Some people still don't have cars, so right. they need me, but it's very, very thin. And, and airport traffic's like almost nil. Huh? There's none. In fact, I haven't been to LAX in probably a month. And right, Orange yeah. County, well, usually. Well, they haven't shut down domestic flights just from overseas. Yeah, I just don't think people are flying. They're just I've not heard, flying because yeah. they don't want to be stuck on a plane right. with, uh, two inches from somebody else. In Orange County, I usually go to a couple times a week, and it's nothing there. So, yeah. you know, I don't know. I just think everybody's just hunkered down waiting for it to pass. But uh, the sad part is, is, like, I survive off of my gym, going to the gym and showering and all that stuff, you know, and it's closed now so everything's closed until the end of the month yeah. working on a new job and they just called me and said no go on that so it's it's, it's horrible stuff yeah it's it's a shutdown all around. yeah 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 depressing huh doug i don't know i've been too depressed to notice i know so tell me about what happened to you what happened to you i heard i heard you had an accident talk to me uh, do you want to talk to me about uh, it 
Did just, you did you fall and break your hip? I don't I don't like putting, an accident. putting my business out in the street really. Yeah, yeah. So I mean is it gonna be all right? You all right? You safe? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. What uh, I'm all right. My truck's not all right, but I'm all right. Yeah, yeah. California has to stay home order beginning tonight, so we're on martial law now. What? Is that what you said? That's what that's what Richard Manning just said. They just they just called for martial law. Yeah. Wow. I don't know exactly what what does martial law mean. I don't know. I guess it means if I'm driving home from here, the cops are going to be chasing me. Is that right? I'm going to do an OJ slow slow speed chase. So so am I stuck here now? I can't You're stuck home. right in the, this place all night long. We're gonna we're gonna hug together. We're gonna spoon. I hope somebody brought a candy bar. Cause I'm starving <laughs> right now. I'll share it with you. You know, no, I'll split it. I'm really hungry. Well, some of the bars, um, the cops were going in and shutting them down. I don't know if you're allowed to do that. Are you allowed to do that? The is cops. That martial I mean, law? The law enforcement. Is law going enforcement. In? Is that the cops? Is that they the used cops? to be the cops. Yeah. Yeah, I don't the know. Caps. Yeah, we don't call them robbers anymore either. Cops and robbers. So what do we do? What? Do, what how do we figure out? Uh, what's the cure for this thing? What? Is, what is it that? Well, how come they give us like till the end of the month, and then is it going to be okay? Well, we got to give them at least that amount of time for them to figure out because it, it keeps uh, mutating. Yeah, yeah. So I think it said it's it's done that once already, right? And that makes it harder to to know what to do each time. So right, right. Now, what about uh, what about the impact on music that that we have going? I mean, a lot of the bands are canceling gigs and stuff. I mean, there's so many people out of work. Well, it, it you know was the live music scene really that big a deal? Not for us. To everybody, I mean, to other people. I don't know. Because people, them. they're not going. Nobody's yeah. going to see live music. So not, not a lot of folks going out to see live music. Yeah. So I don't think there's that problem, but. Well, maybe this will force a lot of bands to do live stuff like we're doing. Hopefully that helps, you know. It might, but, um, yeah, just as far as playing live music, most of the time it's like turn it down because we can't hear ourselves talk at the bar. <laughs> I know. Uh, you got me started now, dude. Let, I know. Let it, it go. Started. Let it go. Let it go, baby. Dougie. Let it go. Yeah, absolutely. Let it go or let it out? Let it out, yeah. Oh, okay, that's better because if I can yeah. let it go, I'm going to be let's not name all, it. all pen up. No, like have a go at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's not name any clubs, but uh, we did all sound of all of them. We did sound for, you know, a couple of them and I mean every time we play go and do sound and it's not that loud. We have the little meter, right? Yeah. Decibel Dan meter. Yeah, it said like traffic noise. Yeah, and so I don't know what what's going on. Is it is it why do they why do you have a large stage? Why do you have a, a live music in a sports bar? Let's start with that. Yeah, yeah. And then call it a sports bar. Right. It never mentioned live music, but then people show up to because you're kind sports. of trying to capitalize, like thinking you know those bands will bring some folks in, make you some more money. Yeah, but the people are sitting over in the corner talking about why Tom Brady left the Patriots. <laughs> Speaking. Oh, of I'm sorry. Was that was that, that news? Was, that was that was. I don't know if that was in the seg- news yet or not. That was a segue. I was talking to Tom yesterday, and he was yeah pretty sure that he was. Did out. he talk about his flat footballs? <laughs> no, but uh, apparently that was a team uh, team crime, not a, a Brady. Well, crime. What do you think he got to move from that team? I mean, do you think it was huge, well, or, or did he just move because he wanted to he, just try something He might different? have wanted to play a couple of years calling his own plays. Right, and, right, And right. maybe that was verboten in uh, in Boston. I don't know. Yeah. Richard Manning says, you can still go to the store, et cetera, not martial law yet. It's a bioweapon, my opinion. That's what he says. Well, I don't disagree. I don't disagree either. But There's talk that it started, they, they created it in a lab. Yeah, we yeah, went man. back from Tom Brady right back into the. It's Richard's is it fault. called the SARS or Corona? What's the what's the official name? Convict ninety one. What is it? Nineteen. Go ahead. <laughs> Covina. 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 West Covina. West Covina. Nineteen. 19. It's the West Covina Nile virus. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, back to Brady though. You think he got a ton of money? Oh sure. Like what kind of money? Well, is the that? kind that's of money like that he, enormous money. The kind of money that he wanted in in Boston, but they weren't going to give it to him. They said we're going to have to hire a bunch of more guys to go pack cars if we're going to give him that kind pack, of money. Yeah. But does he have smart pack? I don't know if he's got smart pack. He's got regular pack. <laughs> he's got smart pack. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Well, he's this, got a lot of money, and he can buy a lot of toilet paper. I was thinking to myself the, hand it out. the other day is like uh, you know sports. It's an amazing thing, sports, right? Especially for kids. Like, uh, you know, schools, you say, yeah, hey, my kid's playing football. Really? What team's he on? Yeah. Hey, where is he? Let me look him up online. You say the same thing. Hey, my kid's in a rock and roll band. Oh, oh, 
Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. You know, why is it that one is better than the next? I, I just don't get that. And one, one, you're very limited, right? Sports, you're only you're only so good for so long, and then you're done. Where music, you can be 90 years old and still pick up a guitar and play. Doug, we've done sound for those guys. Don't get me started. <laughs> um, why is sports so why, like why, great? Why is it that? Um, Say Andy Rooney segment. Yeah. I know. Sorry. Why is it that you uh, you want to encourage your kid to play a sport that doesn't require hand eye coordination? Yeah, or brain thought, right? I mean, does 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 sports do that for you? I mean, to a certain extent, maybe. What do you think? Well, I think the right sports do. Yeah, yeah. But like chess, is that a sport? I, but what's the um, what's the goal of every every little leaguer? Is it to be a major league player someday? Because the percentage is really against you. Oh yeah, I, I think it's to get the snack at the end of the game. What is the percentage of a kid making it from little league all the way up? Like a percent? Maybe half a percent. Oh, pretty small. It's, yeah, it's pretty small. It's bad. Yeah, all the kids that play little league every year. Oh yeah, it's real small. But what's the percentage of a kid playing guitar and then getting up on stage? It's a hundred percent. Well, it depends on where the stage is. Yeah, that's true. I did it in my neighborhood. Yeah, you set up so, in your garage, yeah. right? Did your parents ever I, look? I, I used somebody else's garage. Did you play sports and music just so that the music could be a cover up? Or I did. How? I gave up sports for for music for. Um, um, Rock the roll. rock and roll. He did. Yeah, I, I picked one of the three. I couldn't have all three. My yeah. mom said, pick one, sex, drugs, or rock and roll, and I, I picked the rock and roll. I'll, I'll say what a friend always says to me. How'd that work out for you? He always says that. I don't I'm know why. I'm still playing. Tell everybody, yeah. Still playing. Still playing, right? Still playing, Could you man. still play, be playing football right now? Uh, that'd be negative. Negative on that? So that be, that'd be a hard no. There you yeah. go. You know, the Stones, they, they never played football. Well, they might have played soccer. I don't think Rod Stewart's out playing football still. Rod Stewart was an aspiring young soccer player. He was, yeah. Did they they call it football, though. They football? Call it football? Everywhere. I think here. he had even a chance possibly to go pro in England, and he chose the rock and roll. Well, yeah. well my, my, uh, my little rant on that is just, like, gone out the window with Sean McConnell. Isn't he still racing? Yes, he is. He is, and what he's he's close to ninety now. So there you go. So <laughs> there, it just <laughs> ran out. No, no, no. He goes close to ninety oh, miles that's, an hour. That's, that's what you yeah. meant. Is ninety yeah. miles an hour? Yeah. Right hey, now. Mr. Stelly, Lionel. Oh, Lionel's on, man. Soul shaking it up sounds great. That's what he says. Thanks, brother. Thank right you. on, brother. Good to see you. I hope everything's good. I don't see you at the gym anymore. Have you gained like fifty pounds now? Uh, he probably Manning. graduated to the next level of Is that gym. right? Yeah. On sound, this is Richard Manning, my new band. Thank you. Again, another yeah. band. <laughs> well, not that new. The we, Last Americans, that's the band. Uh, we play ultra quiet. People like it true. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Richard, you're going to have to post somewhere else from now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Richard. That's background music, huh? It's, it's, so, it's essentially background music. I was music. watching Rig Rundown with Jakey e. Lee. Yeah, yeah. Jakey. E. And he's talking Love about Jake. his 50-watt uh, cabinets and uh, heads and, and cabinets and then um, his 100-watt. And he said that um, the 50-watt, he both of them, he plays full blast. He goes, I'm not one of those guys that, that you know, plays the little one and mics it. He goes. I probably just lost half your half your viewers, <laughs> but he goes. It's it's different, and it is different. The, the guitar feels different, and it's it's like a, a a beast that you're holding back when you're keeping it from feedback and and noises that I get and whatever. It makes a difference in the sound. No, I'm serious. Was that, a recent, that? was that a recent Jake Ely interview? Mm, this is probably a couple of years old. Oh, so fairly recent. Yeah. What's yeah. he looking like? Does he look decent? Or? Because I, I know he right. had a little no. he had a little trouble with the barley pops there for a while. No, he's uh, he looks all right. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, I wonder what that would feel like. I remember that interview with Eddie Van Halen. What do you like about rock and roll? He says just the noise hitting the back of your head. Sure. You know, just that sound. I mean, the wall of amps just hitting you. It's just got to be an amazing feeling, you know. Well, it's got to be a really great feeling. You just hit a chord. Projected, Bark! projected yeah. out of ways. Yeah. Um, I remember being down close in the first five rows for Kiss in front of Simmons' amp side. And it, we had to actually go buy the souvenir Kiss earplugs because and then it's not that we were too old. It was too loud. Oh, it's loud. I mean, in that spot. But in the back of the arena, you know, if it's if it's too loud for me, I'll move back. But 
no oh, man, I want to be up there where the action was. And yeah, back the in the early days, in. 70s and 80s, when you got up on the front of the stage, you couldn't really hear much except for the instruments on stage. Now they put speakers all across the front so you can hear what's, get the mix, get yeah. the mix in there, which is kind of cool. Yeah, man, when I saw Andy Gibb, uh, <laughs> he, he was blowing people away in the first like <laughs> one row. Yeah. <laughs> Who was that the, at the Civic Auditorium? I think it was. The, uh, the Norco Civic Auditorium. Didn't you guys see Kiss at, at the Anaheim Convention we Center? We did. 79. Yes, was it empty? Was it empty? Yeah, that was the Dynasty Tour. Was you know bad. what, Doug? I don't remember it being packed. That, that was show. with Sticks, right? That was the no, it was, it was a band called Breathless, I remember. There were people throwing like... Uh, Muffins and I stuff. I think these dudes were from New York. Kiss brought them along. They were probably from the local New York scene. Yeah, he used to bring local bands. And, in and they were actually a pretty good band. They had some good material, but no I never heard anything else about them. Not as good as Monty's material. No, no, not as good as that. <laughs> the bits. You guys want to play a rock and roll tune? A lot of my age don't care. From, this is Richard again. <laughs> Richard's chiming in He's with us. Thank you. I love Richard. Uh, a lot of my age don't care for the blast of amps anymore. Or staying out past 11. I know that. Laughing heads. Uh, why do we play quiet on Sundays? Well, if you, that's why you don't come in here, isn't it, Richard? Because <laughs> we're too loud in here. We're well, too well, loud. I, I think we should go acoustic for the, and for play the, the, the coffee bean. The coffee bean. The coffee bean. Well, we're going to play loud here. You can't tell, but the music comes out in the right uh the right tone. Oh, we're going to play a song for all the people that uh, aren't feeling too well. Hang in there, folks. Yeah, hang in there. Don't know if you're coughing. Don't do it too often. Which one is this? Either one. Ted, you want to do some Ted? Hey, Todd Peterson, play Montrose. Bad Motor Scooter. Oh. That's Todd, on, it's Todd, on, Todd is so like standard. Put it on a twenty and uh, pass it up front. We'll try and get to it. Yeah, we'll get to it in a minute. Tip jar is is wide and good. Do we remember this song? Probably not. Thank you, Todd.
the doctor ordered Doctor ordered testing right now. <laughs> Test- he, he doesn't have the uh, the cure yet. Do we have free testing yet? Is it on the market? Is it on? Is it going on? Yeah, I think they can get tested for stuff. Yeah, I think they're they were like short on tests, and then they got an, they're starting to get enough and kick them out. That's why they said the numbers will jump because. So do you think <clears throat> we're going to have a baby boom because of this whole thing? You know, and everybody's cooped up. All of a sudden, we have another boom. There's going to be. Millions of kids named COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Corona, nice to meet you. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, when people get cooped up, uh, things they, happen. They have kids and they write songs. Oh, yeah. I'm going to write some songs. I'm going to write some songs. Okay. Yeah, um, what was I going to say about uh, the food industry is still trying to get people to like... Uh, so if you guys are local... Hey, David. I hope that's right. Parlet? Hopefully that's right. Did you know him? I can't read it. Okay. (laughs) Uh, I can't. Put your goggles on. I can't read it with the goggles. Yeah, if if you guys support local businesses, please do, man. It's going to be a hard hit for a lot of them, yeah? Yeah, do the takeout thing. Do the delivery thing. and. Yeah, do what you can to, to get them uh, at least some kind of business because, man, this is going to be gnarly for some of those food industry people, you know. Gnarly. Gnarly. For Gnarly. sure. Gnarly. Yeah, so what uh, what's on the stats for the next uh, week or so? so uh, our uh, next sound out. gig is going to be uh, never. Is that it? We're giving up? I don't know. It's uh, shut, we out. shut down for now. We it's out. Sh- we out for now. Got to find something else to do. Exactly. What uh, you think uh, we'll be able to play some clubs here after this whole thing goes over? Or is clubs going to just say we're we're done? <laughs> I don't know. If they're scared, they'll, you know, they might. But they they need to open those. That's those guys need to make money. Right, right, keep right. Keep those places open. So um, yeah, well, l- like people like Matt, you know, I feel sorry for him. That's his work, right? Is that what right. Matt does for yeah. business? Yep, is what brings the dough in. Well, a lot of musicians, too, they don't get paid as much as they used to back in the day. And I know that that's got to be hurting a lot of them, you know, that don't work and they rely on that music. Yeah, they got, well, they, you know, they're hand to mouth pretty much. They, uh, even though the acts from the day that are going, you know, doing boat tours and, yeah, uh, and doing, you know, buddy at work, um, Rob, his his buddy Audie is a drummer for Great White. Not the Jack Russell Great White, but the other one with Mark Kendall in it. Right. And I would imagine they're shut down. Oh yeah, uh, you know, I don't think they might be playing shows, but I don't, I don't know. They shut down clubs. Why, why would why would they let a a band play at a a venue that's you know got five? Well, I people? think the cruise industry is basically done. It's done, right? I mean, no, the, the cruise industry is okay. Every once in a while, you get an E. coli thing. But I think people like get that. sick on cruises all the time. If if the one little strain goes on that thing, like a flu, everybody gets a flu, right? I mean, it's just you're contained in yeah, a tube. Yeah, but I don't tube. Everybody gets the flu. Everybody gets the flu. And this is kind of the same thing. It's just a different um, mutating flu. So. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Wash your hands, kids. Love you. Take care. We will see you next week. Am I correct on that? Share that toilet paper. Two weeks. <laughs> share, share your toilet next paper. Week. Next week. Next, next week. week. Next, next week. week. Yeah, two weeks after. Something like that. See you later. Doug, play us out something. Hurry up. Hurry up. It's going to go. It's going to go. It's going to go. It's going to go. Hurry up. Oh, no, that's it? Okay. Got it. Thanks, you guys. Take care. We will see you in a couple weeks, maybe, or next week, or at the end of the month. We don't know. Are we shut down? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Adios.